So guys back with another video in this series of tutorials we will be learning about all the method all the popular methods in JavaScript. So in this uh, particular tutorial we will be learning about a method called as toString. So now what this toString method does. So it, it takes an object as an input and converts that object into its uh, string format. Right. So this is what it basically do and uh, yeah, let's work on this string and uh, uh, know the in depth about this method. So I'll just open the HTML tag and I'll just give the title as two string because we are dealing with two string. And in the body, I'll just open the script tag and uh, quickly uh, declare some an object. And uh, in the help of this number. Uh, uh, yeah, guys, this is an object. This is not an, uh, a normal uh, uh, variable thing. This is an object. So I'll just say 17 and give the value of 17. And to confirm that, I'll just console it to the log. And let me cross verify whether that is a number or an object, right? So if I refresh the browser and we got the title, of course. And as you can see, guys, in the console, this is a, a, an object. Right, so it has got its uh, value as 17, and but it is an object, right? So we have got to know that this is an object. So now, how to convert this object into its how to get this 17 in the format of a string? So after this, we need to use dot to string. So we need to convert this to to string, and that's it. So save this file, and guys, again, I will just do this uh, instead of doing here, I'll just say number and again copy this entire thing and make sure that you have a reference to what we are doing that so to string so yeah save this file and refresh you got the thing right so this is an object and now we have got a string format of the same object right so this is how the string to string uh, does and uh, it converts an object into string so now guys what if what's the parameter that should be given here if we don't give any parameter, it will just print in a decimal number. So it will print, the, it will first convert this number, this object into its string format. And if we don't give any uh, parameter to this two string, it will represent the same thing. It will, it will be in the same format. So now I'll just again copy this and um, paste it over here and pass as two as its parameter. So now what it does, it will convert this object and while printing that it is in it, it is printing in the format format of a binary because we have given as the base as two right so if i just refresh this and you got this right so this is a binary format of 17 right so if i just change the number to two what else will get as you can see the the binary format of 2 is 10 right so that's it so this is how guys we will be converting the number and we'll be getting the 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 number in the format of a string and that too with the help of this basis right so if i just copy this entire thing and change the base to uh, from 2 to let me say 7 what else will be the thing you got the same thing right if i just give some I'll change the sum number to 26 and let me check that as you can see this is the number in the format of the base 7 right so this is what we call it as the base of a number and we are pr printing that in the console and we are getting the the respective uh, numbers in in the string right so this is an object and we are getting all its representation in its own uh, basis right so this is what it called called as right so guys this is all about the uh, of course guys we need to specify a number or a parameter only from 2 to 36 that's it we can specify only 2 to 36 in order to get that the basis in those formats right guys this is all about it and this is the string which is uh, this is a two string which will be helpful for all the web developers and it will reduce a lot of tasks believe me guys it will reduce all of the lot of tasks whenever you are dealing with some conversion of the numbers to string or you know other things right so yes guys uh, see you in the next video